In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. For the times we haven't lived in right relationships with ourselves, with others, with God, we pause to call to mind our need for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us how to love each other. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the peace the world cannot give. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see Shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as it is written in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. i 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Gospel of the Lord. Who was the first evangelist? Does Mary's name come to mind when you hear that question? This is the fourth Sunday in Advent, Christmas just days ahead. So I'd like to suggest that a great way to spend some time this week with God would be to read the first chapter of the Gospel according to Luke and to follow Mary's journey. And then ask yourself, what stands out for you? Or perhaps, what prayer arises in your heart as you see her prayer? There is excitement at this time of year it's as if everything is filled with promise. Animosities can be set aside, even just temporarily. Estrangement can lead into reconciliation. The whole world can seem more gentle, and we're filled with a spirit of generosity. In these days just before Christmas, the possibility of newness is almost something you can feel in the air. The spirit of the season catches hold of us even before the actual day arrives. And so today we stand on the threshold of fulfillment. The future that God has prepared for us is open before us, even though we have not yet stepped into it. Jesus takes flesh in human history. That's important because it affirms for us the fundamental goodness of human life and concerns and even sanctifies them further. The child comes from simple people, from a place that is relatively insignificant and thus underscores God's preference to work with what is ordinary. The body that was offered for our salvation, the body that consecrated us through having been offered up, was the body that grew in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So the extraordinary salvation by God is accomplished through God's coming into the world as one of us. And the obedience that Christ played out in his life through his body fulfills for us the promises made to us by God. So we stand on this threshold of fulfillment, the fulfillment of an event that has already taken place, but we ritually reenact it so that we never, never take it for granted, so that we never forget that it is in and through human history that the marvelous, deeds of God are accomplished. Carol Hauslender writes, the way to begin healing the wounds of the world is to treasure the infant Christ in us, to be not the castle, but the cradle of Christ, and in rocking that cradle to the rhythm of love, to swing the whole world back into the beat 
of the music of eternal life. So on this threshold, may we each pause long enough to reflect on this first evangelist. May we with Mary journey toward the fulfillment of God's promises that come to birth in Christ and fill us even as we celebrate this liturgy. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead the life of the world to come, amen. With faith like Mary and Elizabeth, we lift up our prayers to God. That all members of the church may grow in humility following the example of Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That state, national, and world leaders will work to meet the physical, social, and spiritual needs of the most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our community, inspired by the interaction of Mary and Elizabeth, may actively build relationships of love and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, for those who suffer during these trying times, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, through this journey, through the weeks of Advent, you have led us. You have given us your joy and you have promised us your peace. So we lift our prayers to you, trusting that you will hear and answer us through Christ our Lord, amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Amen. 
May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the, at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. 
with your servant Francis, our Pope, George Leo, our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Gregory, the whole order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the, the sins, sins of the, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Redeemer of us all, we pray you hear us when we call. Come, O oh Lord, and bring your light, O oh, rain and star, our hearts delight. O oh God, with us, Emmanuel, with your love, the darkness fell. In sorrow that the ancient curse should doom to death the universe. You came, O oh Savior, to set free your own in glorious liberty. Come, O oh Lord, and bring your light, O oh radiant star, our heart's delight. O oh God, with us, Emmanuel, with your love, the dark despair. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to be worthy to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love.